Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, collective. Welcome. Happy birthday to any Pisces here in the reading. I hope everyone is well. Thank you for your support. Thank you for those that have joined this channel. I am very grateful. Let's see. Anything you need to know about me is down below. What does your spirit team and my spirit team want you to know? We got the Eight of Wands, progress, growth, expansion, momentum, moving forward. Sagittarius energy with the Eight of Wands. For the collective, we got the Three of Pentacles, working together, collaboration, looking at that blueprint. What's the plan? How do we put our efforts together? Could be a third party situation, could be work for some of you. Okay, you could be networking. Let's see. We will clarify for the collective what's going on, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Falling right over the three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Cancer energy with another three. Okay. Definitely collaboration energy with the threes here. Definitely could be a third party relationship, inner circle, networking. Okay. Like-minded individuals, reconciliation, teamwork, and work efforts for a lot of you. Um... I feel like there's someone here that wants to reconcile and work together, come together here to see how do y'all put y'all minds and finances together. Let's see. Sideways, seven of cups. They're trying to come out of this illusion, this confusion, or figuring out what they want, or you're tired of wondering uh, what's next or where do you stand with a particular person. You could feel like they treated you as an option. You could be ready to cut ties with this person because they're treating you like an option or you know that the best thing to do is to release this person and stop holding them as an option because you're dealing with someone else but let's see the scorpio energy what else for the collective at this time angel spirit guys ancestors we got the will of fortune fate destiny karma your birth chart where you're supposed to be in life who you're supposed to be around i feel like someone's learning lessons too though there's a shift going on in their life or yours. What else for the collective? We got the death card. Oh boy. Letting something or someone go. Hopefully this toxic ass energy at the bottom of the deck with the devil. But most of the time the devil could be internal negativity, internal obsession, uh, addiction or codependency or something that you feel stuck to or a person within you. Like the devil could be internal your own shadow self let's see what's the three of pentacles for the collective it says mercury communication download news on its way and there was a message on the bottle on the illustration but listen the bottom of the deck is the devil here and the bottom of my deck before i get started is also the devil card right here and here are some keywords addictions a trauma bond stuck patterns energy vampire it could be a karmic partner some of you a child's mother in their life or yours or there's a choice between two or three women with the empress right behind them or one of these women is a twin flame perhaps this queen of wands is this empress this queen of cups could be someone's child's mother however it go this empress is closer to this queen of wands this devil is closer to this queen of cups someone could be psychic and intuitive playing the nurturing card or some of you have your own internal things you need to heal and work on male or female What's this Three of Pentacles? A whole lot of Capricorn energy. Three of Pentacles is Capricorn. The devil is Capricorn. Here's more Capricorn energy here with this other devil. What's this Three of Pentacles? Other devil. Some of you are dating people that match your fly. Some of you, you decided you wanted to date the type of person you are. Like, I'm a bad person, so I want to date a bad person. I'm in the street, so I want to date a street person. I'm in the industry, so I want to date someone in the industry. It's giving match my fly, but the fly could be very toxic and more vibrational. What's this three of pentacles for the collective? Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. The six of cups, someone's past, and nurture. Now, if it's not someone's past, it says past life soulmate, missing someone. 
and the past returns energy so nostalgia someone's thinking about providing for that three of pentacles is coming together nurturing wants to take care of you um some of you need to take care and nurture yourself especially if you have childhood trauma the people you, around you are not very helpful at all or you could be hoping to meet people that are more supportive of you and your dreams however it go it says compassion love sincere feelings wants to take care of you protective and nurture some of you are in the energy where you would like to have someone around you that you can take care of or you want this for yourself male or female because whoever you're currently around there could be some disharmony going on in a household or this is your person like your person could be a soulmate or a twin when i say your person that's what i mean but if you're married or so um it, this could be the person you are currently with you would like to work things out because there is a marriage or some kind of relationship where it's cold on the inside of this house um there's a lack of color there's a lack of happiness and fulfillment is like hopeful uh ambitions here have come crumbling down with broken dreams on the separation card some kind of love situation but um it's giving high hopes and a let down what's this three of cups for the collective self-worth now a lot of you are in third party connections i have too many clients to ignore that are in third party connections this is self-worth and boundaries. Some of you, this is you, the people around you. Know your worth to not hang around toxic and low vibrational people. Healing unworthiness, okay? Then it says boundaries, expectations, values, and high vibration. Being around like-minded individuals, meaning if you're toxic, you're hanging around toxic people. You're a product of your environment. And you're being nurtured by the things around you. Nurture. Now, for a lot of you, you need to nurture yourself, know your worth. And if, if this person is not nurturing you or adding to this connection, then you need to release it. Releasing yourself or freeing yourself or cutting people off that are unhealthy is an act of self-care. What's Seven of Cups for the collective? Angel, spirit, guys, and that's us, the Scorpio energy. Falling over self-worth, wounded. Loss, Taurus energy, five of pentacles, left out in the cold, abandonment issues, missing someone. I got missing someone twice. Can't ignore it. Let me point it out to you. I have missing someone there under that nail. And I have missing someone here under this nail. Some of you have to release your past. And if you say, I already broke up with them, I'm done. Well, you still remember it. Like, you still thinking about it. You still tripping off of it. If you say, I ain't tripping off of it, then why are you hesitant to move forward in something new? Why does trust issues pop up for you? Because you ain't over it. Uh, a great part of healing, and I have to post this on my uh, community board, is acceptance. What has happened has happened. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Everything has already come and gone. No need to ponder or mope, mope around about it. It's over with um cherish the good memories especially if it's the death of someone and learn a lesson especially if it's detrimental to your health and on again off again and move the fuck forward so this is where someone finds themselves tripping off the past or stuck in the past could be a karmic partner holding on to you for some of you you are a victim to spiritual warfare spiritual harassment or spiritual manipulation there are a lot of foolish women around thinking that they could force someone to stay by the hands of candle work which is codependency they have codependent issues you could have codependent issues if this is you no shade just facts okay i'm very blunt type of individual if you're doing spells on people to make them stay with you you need to work on your codependency issues anyways there's a sense of lack here not feeling enough missing someone five of pentacles left out in the cold coming out with this seven of cups some kind of confusion someone's unclear about what's next for them or where they stand in a connection there's a lot of overwhelmed choice someone can have a whole lot of uh, choices like work children um things that they have to prioritize multiple partners or simply themselves if someone's giving 25 percent here 25 percent here 25 percent here and here you go you show up in their life you're only getting 25 percent of them then if they have other things this person needs to become whole before they can give you anything or this is you you're focusing on yourself or you should what's the will of fortune for the collective angels sir guys and ancestors beautiful receive 
opening up generosity gifts assistance six of pentacles equal give and take so we're making progress thanks to the spirit guys the, the divine guidance here five to the six of pentacles also taurus energy uh signs of synchronicity seeing shit for what it is seeing a person for who they are listening to people who are uh, showing you to have your best interest at heart What's this gift here? It looks like spirit is trying to bless you with something. Once you free yourself from something or someone, especially this devil energy, dev card, let it go. What's receptivity and generosity from spirit? It looks like spirit is trying to bless you all here with something. The world. Yes. Karmic completion. Rewards. So, karmic completion, achievement travel fulfillment success achievement after obstacle new cycle this has a lot to do with closing out the cycles that no longer serve you learning the lessons moving the fuck forward when it's time to do so fulfillment is a lesson learned on steroids the world is a new brand new cycle for some of you there's a death in the family reincarnation energy here with the butterfly uh on this lady's mouth meaning breaking generational curses you are chosen i'm seeing it will of fortune it's your destiny it's your purpose the spirit god showed up some of you feel guarded some of you are like what's spirituality what's spell work what's twin flame what's a that's okay because if something's showing up different in your life it just means you're the light bulb in a dark room it's okay to be different for some of you it's simply you having a battle between being raised, accustomed to, stuck, certain type of principles, processes, programming. You're going to have to break that and become you. Become whoever you're supposed to be. Because unfortunately, as a newborn baby, everything you know is based on how you're nurtured, how you're brought up. But anyways, um, a lot of you, this is a relationship as well. I'm a multiple scenario reader here that needs to come to a close before spirit can bless you. Because oftentimes we block our blessings by being attached to low vibrational energies here. What's the death for the collective? Seeing shit for what it is, as I said in the beginning. Seeing clearly what you must let go of. Clarity of thought. What's over? What's done? What serves and what does not? Heightened intuition. This is an awakening based on your past and third eye opening. Some of you have a very keen intuition. People be saying, I be knowing. Well, if you know, then act on it. There's a masculine energy that's going through a spiritual awakening. He's becoming his best self. For some of you, it's after he closes out a cycle, he becomes more clear about who he is and what he wants. Some of you have awakened this masculine or you're this masculine. You have been awakening others or your divine feminine has awakened you. It says logical, confident, assertive, protective. I got protective twice. I have protective here and I have protective here. But for some of you, this person is very prideful. They're holding on to their past or they've experienced quite a quite a bit, which could be blocking them from their healing journey in totality. It says blocking thoughts and memories. I have memories here right behind that yang, divine masculine energy here. Memories and memories. So someone has gone through a lot. So that's something that they need to heal in a child, okay? healing is required so if you're in a connection and someone's flaky flip floppy wishy-washy or you're the flip flopper it's simply healing and acceptance acceptance is a great part of healing though there's really nothing nothing you can do about something that has already happened to you facts okay what's the death once more some of you have received divine gifts from a deceased loved one clarity when someone died they passed their gift to you they sure did what's the the summer activity goals progress life force energy i don't care about anything else on this card but new patterns life force energy is big because you need that that drive that ambition to continue to push forward this assertive assertive energy of this masculine anybody can be in masculine energy but growth as well we we've seen the eight of wands beginning but 
it's time for something new. What's the devil or someone new? But please take a moment to heal before leaving one relationship going into the next. Take it slow. That's old school. What's the devil for the collective? North Node tried to jump out, which means someone's trying to block you from your destiny, your life purpose, what's fated, the will of fortune. Or your own habits, your own negative patterns are blocking you from moving forward. A negative pattern could be simply an idea, a certain way of life you're used to living, a certain type in relationships, sticking to what you know, same city, same job, same food, uh, same things that your family do, whatever it is. Being chosen does not mean repeat what my family repeats. You're simply chosen to be different, to be the black sheep. Why would you repeat everything that you see that isn't working? They don't call it breaking generational curses for you to continue the generational situation, lineage, or tradition. You're meant to break it. You're meant to be different. What's this devil? And that's why some of you are targeted by people, places, situations, things. You can have a boss regular boss something within their energy is programmed based on the matrix based on your life based on your story to stop you to block you to hinder you that's a challenge karmic completion achievement after obstacles is the vibe but and they may seem like a cousin they may seem like a sister they may seem like a mother a father a brother Something in their soul, just like something in your soul, is destined to do what it's doing. You're destined to change. They're destined to hinder, stop, or block. They says the devil comes to steal, kill, destroy. Destruction comes in many levels. It can be manipulation. It can be, I had a baby by you. I'm pregnant. Now, now I'm ruining your life. I'm slowing you down. Now you got to stick around and take care of me. Oh, now I'm putting you on child support. There's your, how they go, right? The devil can destroy in many ways. And sometimes we have our own internal devil that's destroying us internally from the inside out. What's the devil, spirit? Your spirit team is guiding you to move forward from any adversities, any negative thinking, any illusions, any limitations that are blocking you from moving forward. The devil is limited. The devil is blocking you. The devil is hindering you. The devil can be a karmic partner. It can be a family member. It can be you. It can be a job. Overthinking and negative outlook, fear of change. The devil is also fear. Anything that makes you afraid is a hurdle, is a hindrance. It's a, it's a pothole that you're going to have to avoid, a big one. A bump in the road, and the road is symbolic for journey. Let me get one more for this devil. You're being guided to move away from whoever or whatever this is. I say whoever and whatever because sometimes the devil is something you're doing, not necessarily a person that you could be doing. What's the devil? One more. Inspired risk, expansion, growth. I saw growth. Yeah, right here. I'm like, I seen growth somewhere else. So, and I'm I'm pointing out the repetition for a reason. I have growth here, and I have growth here in the center of this sun setting here. So, what this is letting me know, we're learning lessons in order to be reborn with the rebirth and the death. The death is a rebirth, an ending for new beginning. It's time for something new in your life. So I feel like this reading is a beautiful collective reading. I hope it finds who it's supposed to find because it was general all around. Letting go of what no longer serves. Don't block your own blessings. But turning inward, major changes, death and the will of fortune or big steppers in tarot. Major arcana or major life events maybe even a crisis it's time for empowerment for you to open your heart for you to be inspired for you to inspire others as we started with the star but this is y'all read please free yourself from any limitations or toxicities peace